Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Pick on a Dime with Sha. Hotel review edition. But first, have you subscribed? already subscribed thank you so much and now please remember to click on the notification bell so that you are notified every single time i post a new video and it is every single week and sometimes even twice <laughs> let's dive right into it so this weekend we decided to take a little vacay to a small town called narok yay narok <laughs> and we found this little gem in narok I can't wait to show it to you guys. So oh, first things first, a tour of the room. the corridor the corridor and then to your right is the lounge area i must admit i really liked the lounge area it was a uh, big okay big ish big enough <laughs> and uh it was pretty yeah simply furnished but looked really good yeah what do you think And then I walked to the window, scared of what the view would be, but voila, not so bad, huh? The lighting was also pretty. The lighting looked really nice. I liked that. Simple but beautiful, like I said. Then there's the study area. I absolutely love a lounge area that has a study area because <laughs> I feel like I work all the time, including when I'm on vacation. So having a a comfortable place with a desk and everything for you to work on even while you're relaxing that's it for me i, I absolutely love the workspace it was really nice next and most importantly the bedroom or the sleeping area okay where the bed is you get what i mean yeah let's go see what they have here a fan nice it's narrow so yeah the fan uh the bed yeah i like the headboard um it's a bit too simple if you ask me but it's nice and the fact that we got 
a deluxe it already had an extra bed so um usually it doesn't have but they didn't have time to move it because we got in very late in the evening so they couldn't move the bed but if you're there with your friends well better for you and then there's this huge huge mirror means mirror selfies <laughs> of course i mean duh <laughs> So that's the view from the window. Yeah, it's simple enough. Looks good. I think it has everything you need. Uh, yeah, can't complain because mostly distracted by the mirror, <laughs> but can't complain. It's not bad. <music> Finally, the bathroom. Bathroom. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like the walls. I like the clear, the clear, transparent um, glass. Uh, but no bathtub. No bathtub. Hmm. I was going to tell you this in the end, but it's a deluxe. So a deluxe doesn't have a bathtub. But the bathroom is very beautiful, as you can see. It's very spacious, very clean. I like the color they chose for it. And uh, just, it looks nice. Okay, now let's outside. <laughs> yeah, let's go see. So far, it looks beautiful. I love how green it is. I love how serene it feels. So far, I like it. So we're going to have breakfast. And uh, while we are at it, we can look around and, you know, do a bit of snooping. Let's go. <laughs> So the restaurant is a bit of a distance from the rooms. I, I am okay with that. I actually think I like that. It's a bit of a distance from the room, but it's not so far. So yeah, here it is. sitting down to breakfast i must admit to this being the most disappointing part so far um i don't know i like a big breakfast i like having variety i like actual food for breakfast especially when i'm on vacation so this part uh no you could have done better yeah But then we went outside and uh, yeah, this place was, I thought it was really nice to take a couple of pictures, you know, for all the ladies out there. This is a really cute place to take photos. But before we get carried away, let's look around. Let's take a tour of the grounds, a brief tour and see what they have. So they have these grounds right next to the restaurant they are really beautiful really green and you can see it is right close to it so um actually fun fact 
we had come here uh to attend our wedding there was a wedding the previous day like yesterday there was a wedding here so their grounds are really nice for weddings you can um try them out if you're planning something <laughs> and uh this is the rest of the environment so i'll just i'll just shut up now and let you see it right <music> Also, we found out that this this place is actually a work in progress. It's not yet complete, imagine. It is this beautiful and yet it is still ongoing. So imagine how it will look once it's done. So behind the restaurant, they let us know that they are still working on the swimming pool. And um, I'm not sure what else they're putting behind there. But I already saw the swimming pool in progress. Yeah. <laughs> And now these are the actual rooms. This is where we were. The rooms I showed you before. This is where they were. So this is where the rooms are at. Yeah. Funny thing, by the time we were getting here, they were fully booked. It's not even peak season, but they were fully booked. So yeah, I hope that accounts for something. <laughs> Again, for us who absolutely cannot resist the urge to take a pretty picture in front of a pretty building, here you go. These were some nice places. I also couldn't help myself. So, yeah, I hope it looks as photogenic as I thought it did. <laughs> So this is um okay the reception area was just was just that i started recording from the stairs because our room was upstairs and i wanted to show you guys the balcony area it's a bit of a lounge but also like a balcony area so here it is <music> Also, I don't know why I didn't mention this, but I absolutely love the wooden floors. The wooden floors are awesome. They are beautiful. They feel nice under your feet. I love them. Like I said before, another photo, photo, photogenic place. Is it just people who are photogenic or even places can be photogenic? Okay. Point is, another photogenic place. Another place to take nice pictures, okay? Please get all the way off my back about it. You get the point, right? And here is the view. But the main thing here is the view. I absolutely loved this view. I don't know. I think it's the trees. I don't know. It just felt really peaceful, felt really comforting. I loved being here at this specific place. I'm a sucker for views. So let me show you again the view from inside the lounge area, from inside the room. Because one of the first things I look at when I get a room, it's the view. I want to know what I'll be waking up to in the morning. I want to know what I'll be looking at. And the better the view, the uh, if the view is good, then the better for me. So what do you guys think of, what do you think of it? just before we leave i do not understand how i did not show you the bathroom mirror one side of the bathroom is fully a mirror like as you can see it i absolutely love that i love bathroom mirrors especially when they're this huge Ugh. i don't know i think i waste all my time in getting ready there that's why i'm always late 
whenever i get a good bathroom mirror that's and that's it guys that's it for this little gem in narok zebu lodge and luxury hotel in narok and um i think it has a lot of potential i already love it as it is i love the location i love that it is a distance from the city but not too far away and um i love the idea they have for it there might be one or two nitty-gritty things they could improve on but i'm thinking they are upcoming so they'll probably get better but i really loved this place and i think it's a gem because not so many people know about it it was my very first time there and i really liked it so yeah i think i would i would yeah so i think i would definitely recommend it if i was to give it a star out of five i'd say 3.5 and 3.5 is not being a is not me being harsh it's uh just because i think they still have a lot to do and the fact that it's still work in progress is yeah means it has so much potential and i am sure there's a day i will come here and give it a different rating <laughs> you get what i mean wink wink all in all guys welcome to zebu lodge and luxury hotel please pop in if you ever find yourself in the area and that's a wrap on Zebu Lodge and Luxury Hotel. As always, nothing but love. Mwah, mwah. And in case you haven't subscribed, oh, please subscribe.